But what are what is the downside of the Manchester coding? As I said, it requires twice bandwidth as the NRZ because it has a clock also, and we were XORing it also. So there can be different strategy thoughts. We could uh, uh, we should uh, code data to ensure that there are enough transition in the signal. We can code the data itself. That is coding a one as a transition and a zero when there is no transition or a vice versa. So this kind of coding is called NRZI or non-return to zero inverted. Non-return to zero inverted. Here it is an example. What you have to do is wherever you see a transition from zero to one or one is there, make a transition. Wherever it is zero, just make a straight line. Now you get a one, translate it, make a transition. Again one, make a transition. Zero, keep it straight. Again one, make a transition. This is called NRZI. In universal serial bus USB, st this standard for connecting computer peripherals, they use NRZI. Now in order to fix this long runs of zeros, what we can do? We have multiple solutions. We can uh, divide or break up these long runs of zeros. It can be 50, 40, 20 zeros. We can divide this say 20 zeros into 5, 5 zeros or 4, 4 zeros. This can be a solution. So the strategy of this, there is a well-known code to do this is 4B and 5B, probably 5B. What does it do? The 4-bit, every 4-bit is mapped to a 5-bit pattern. And there will be a fixed transition table. 4 bit is 2 to the power 4, so 16 combination. 5 bit is 2 to the power 5, that is 32 combination of zeros 1. So now we are mapping the 4 bit to 5 bit, and there will be a fixed transition table that, that you see here also. That is 0, 0, 0, 0, 4 zeros will be having code word as 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay? This is 4B, 5 bit table, transition table. What you will get? What is the benefit? You will never have more than three consecutive zeros. Say you take these two zeros. In the end, you will have maximum two zeros, and in the front, you have, will have one zero. So, if you combine this end and front, there will be maximum three zeros. These zero, these two zeros, and this one zero. Any any combination you can take. So, there will never be a run of more than three consecutive zeros. Or this is how we fix the long runs of zeros problem. But this kind of 4B, 5B screen, because there is a transition table, there will be a 25% overhead, but it is 100% better than, means the Manchester encoding is having 100% overhead. One more thing, because 16 input is there and 32 output combination are there. So some of the output combination are not used, because 16 only will be utilized. 16 will be free to us. So we can use this 16 for other use. We can use these non-data codes to represent the physical layer control signals. For example, in these two columns, you see there is node 11111. You will not also see 11000. So we can use this as idle line and the other one as the start of a frame. 